Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to working on this very beautiful tote bag. For this project, I am using Red Hot Super Saver 100% acrylic yarn. This is worsted weight medium four ply yarn. The color is grey heather color. The same 100% acrylic big twist yarn. The color is mustard color. This is also four ply yarn. I am going to use G 4.5 mm hook for this project. Okay, so first we have to make a magic ring. Like this way, and then you have to make a chain three, one, two, three, and then make eleven double crochet inside the ring. So the chain three considers one double crochet. So totally twelve double crochet you need to make. Okay, so this is the first round of the bag. So third double crochet. Fourth double crochet, fifth double crochet, like this. You have to continue making twelve double. So I've completed twelve double crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Now you have to pull the yarn here. To close the magic ring. Now, in the first three chain is the right. So there, in the third chain, you have to make a slip stitch to finish this round. So this is the row one pattern. Okay, we formed a circle. Now chain three, double crochet in the same stitch, and then two double crochet in the next stitch. This round you have to make two double crochet in all the stitches, okay? So you should get twenty four double crochet at the end. To continue baking two two double crochet till the end. So I've completed. Now, I need to make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round. Okay, now chain three, double crochet in the same stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, and then two double crochet in the next. One double crochet in the next, two double crochet, so two double, one double, two double, one double. Okay, this is what you have to make for this round. Then one double. So just repeat like this till end. So I have completed. This round you should get that six double crochet. So at the end you have to finish it with double crochet, like this. Okay. Now you have to make a slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round. Now chain three, double crochet in the same stitch, and then one double in next to two stitches. And then two double in the next, one double in next to two stitches, two double in the next. You have to increase like this. So two double, one double, and two. So like that, you have to. Repeat. So once you complete this, you just repeat the increase row till you reach row seven. Okay. So in the row seven, you should get eighty four double crochet that you make sure. Okay. So I've completed seven rows. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. This is the uh, seven rows. Now I am going to measure the base of the bag. From here to here, is nine inches. Okay. If you want, you can increase or decrease the 
base. Slip stitch in the third chain to finish this round. Now we have to start working on the pattern. Chain 1, double crochet in the same stitch. Chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now skip 3 stitches. 1, 2, 3. In the 4th stitch here, you have to make a double crochet. Like this. Now chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Skip 3 stitches. 1, 2, 3. In the next stitch, make a double crochet. And then chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, skip 3 stitches and then in the next stitch make a double crochet. So like that you have to repeat the round with the same pattern. So chain 5, skip 3 stitches, double, chain 5, skip 3 stitches and then double. So you have to repeat the pattern like this till the end. So I've completed, I've reached the end. Now you have to make a chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make a slip stitch in the first double crochet here. To finish this round. Okay. Now chain 3, 1, 2, 3. In the same stitch you have to make 2 double crochet. So the chain 3 considers 1 double crochet. So totally 3 double crochet. Like this. And then chain 5 space make a single crochet. And then in the double crochet stitch you have to make 3 double crochet. 1 2 and 3 then make single crochet in the chain 5 space then in the next double make 3 double crochet so 1 2 and 3 like this and then single crochet in the next chain 5 space you have to repeat the pattern like this 3 double single 3 double single so like that you have to repeat the pattern so this is a very very simple pattern okay so anyone can make this is a very beginner tutorial so i am going to use only double crochet and single crochet for this bag so you just repeat like this way till the end of this row so I have completed. Now I am going to make a single crochet in the chain 5 space. Now in the third chain make a slip stitch. Now again make a slip stitch in the next 3 stitches. I mean till single crochet you have to make a slip stitch. Because we have to start a next row from the single crochet. Like this. Now chain 1 make a double crochet in the same stitch. And chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, skip 3 stitches. In the next single, you have to make a double crochet. And then chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then skip 3 stitches. The next single, make a double crochet. And then chain 5. Skip 3 stitches. The next single make a double crochet. So you just repeat the pattern like this. Chain 5. 
so we have to repeat only two rows for the pattern so skip three stitches make a double crochet in the next so you just repeat till the end so I've completed now I'm going to make a chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 slip stitch in the first double to finish this round okay like this now chain 3 1 2 3 2 double in the same stitch and then single crochet in the chain 5 space then 3 double in the next double 1 2 and 3 single crochet in the chain 5 space 3 double in the next 1 2 3 single in the next chain face space 
So like that you have to repeat for 26 single crochet. Just continue making 26 single crochet till here. So I have completed 26 single crochet. Now I am going to again make a 50 chains. Skip 16 stitches. So that is make sure the count. Okay. So just continue with 50 chains. So I have completed. Now you just count it from here. 1, 2, 3. So after 16 stitches, 17th stitch make a single crochet. And then continue making single crochet till the end of this row. So like this till end and then continue till the handle. Okay. Again next row. So I have completed and I have reached the handle portion. Now here you have to make a single crochet in the next stitch. Here. And then single crochet together in next stitch and first chain so here and then again insert the hook in the first chain this is a single crochet together and then pull through three loops and then continue making single crochet in every chain till last one chain left So now you just continue making single crochet till here. So I have completed. Now here I am going to make a the last chain and next stitch make a single crochet together. Insert the hook in the last chain and insert the hook in the next stitch. Pull through the three loops like this and then continue making single crochet till you reach the next handle. Okay. The next hand also you have to follow the same. Just continue till here. So I have completed. Now here also we need to make a single crochet together in the next stitch and the first chain. Then make a single crochet in every chain till last one chain left. Continue making a single crochet like this. Just continue till here. So I've completed. Now I'm going to make a single crochet together in last chain and the next stitch. Then continue making single crochet till the end of this row. That's it. So if you want the handle to be thick means you just can't repeat the pattern again and then you have to proceed with the uh, one more single crochet row in the handle portion but i have completed from till here so fasten off the yarn so that's it this is the bag this is a very nice design okay this is an easy pattern too you can definitely try this one and we we have to add the string here okay so that is fully optional if you want you can make like this otherwise you just leave it as it is make a slip knot chain 100 you have to create a you have to create two string okay so chain 100 chain 100 and then you just insert in the bottom portion so you just continue making 100 chains like this so I have completed with 100 chains. Now just fasten off the yarn. Then like this. Okay. So you have to create another 100 chains. So I have created two strings. And we just insert in the base of the bag. From here onwards I am just inserting like this. And then skip one double. And then in the next double under this. Just insert and then skip one double and then next double. So like that you just insert the string like this way. Okay. So 
for now you can knot it and secure it and then you have to insert the string from other side to like this way the same way we have to we did earlier right so the same method you have to follow here also and then join the thread like this secure it by making the knot here so i have knotted now you just use it like this way okay now i am going to measure the uh, bag okay so from here to here 12 inches so the length is 12 inches if you want you can increase or decrease the length okay and then the width of the bag is the same 12 inches okay so this is the height and width of the bag so you can increase and decrease the base based on the bag size so you can keep the yarn balls like this way okay so it looks too good okay and you can use it like this and you can keep this back in the handbag with the different way like i show here so you just take out the knot like this and then you just hold the bag inside the base of the bag so that you can keep it in the handbag so this is the very easy way to store the bag like this okay just hold it like this and then put a knot here so i hope you like this tutorial so if you really like this please subscribe to my channel and click notification bell icon and you can definitely try this bag this is a very easy pattern if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section and i have given my facebook link and insta link in the description you can follow me in facebook and insta so you can secure it like this that's it so you can keep it in your home or in handbag so anywhere you can keep it like this okay so very nice tote bag is ready so you can use single color or multicolor for this pattern okay and you can easily take it like this after you take it you just secure the strings in the sides i think you like this tutorial so you just add a comments okay if you have any doubt so finally we made a very nice tote bag that's it So you just cut the yarn here okay so thank you very much for watching my channel this is the stitch it looks like okay so don't forget to subscribe thank you